Welcome to the Windows channel and this is the quick look at the latest build of Windows 10 Redstone 4. That's the future of Windows that we'll get sometime in March of 2018. And this is the latest build 17025 released today, October 25th, 2017. So what's new, what's not? There's a little bit of new stuff in here. Not a lot, but we'll show you that a little later. The download was really fast, really quick. I was amazed. Uh, so I, I would suspect, and I can't say because I didn't measure it, but I, I suspect this was a very small download for the speed that it went through. And the install itself went well. Um, on this machine, took about two hours, the initialization phase and everything, but I was doing other things. So basically that could have slowed it down a little bit, but I was, you know, using my PCs if nothing was happening. The install was really quick though. When I clicked the restart button, um, I don't think it took more than 25, 30 minutes for all of it to be installed. Uh, pretty, pretty cool. Now the Windows 10, of course, lock screen arrived and um, it works well. I'll tell you one glitch that I have that's not within the uh, glitches that are known. Um, in all settings, I've had a little glitch where right now, for example, it's working. But I've tried restarting a few times and pretty much does the, that uh, for a little while. So all the different setup tabs here open up. But system, I click and nothing happens. Now it's working. But it takes for some reason a certain time before it actually works. So that's one glitch that I did see myself that's not in the glitches that Microsoft, of course, has shown us. Um, talking about glitches, there's a few little things you need to know in here. One is that um, basically the calendar um, or game bar might actually be crashing your system. It's a known bug. Um, and some swiping gestures have a little problem. Um, and if you're experiencing mail, Cortana, narrator, or missing some features like Windows Media Player, they have a feedback hub post for that, uh, basically. Now, okay. I've been using this for around, uh, I'd say a good four, five hours right now. And um, I've not had, you know, apart from that little glitch I told you, I've not had any problems in uh, using it, no green screens, nothing bad. Seems to work quite well. It's pretty fast, uh, no slowdowns or anything. What's new in here? Well, first of all, I didn't notice something. There's something I don't know why, but for some reason the start menu looks different. But I just can't pinpoint what. And it could be just me. It could be just the background color. But for some reason, there's something I'm trying to understand here. It looks different. Uh, one thing that does look different, and but some of you might have had it already, it's the Windows Store. That's now the Microsoft Store. So look at this new icon when it actually loads. It's a little bag with Microsoft logo in it. So this is brand new for me, but some of you might have had it already. It's the new Microsoft Store. And don't forget to check your downloads and updates when you have a new uh, app like this. For example, here there's a Microsoft Photos app um, update that needs to be done. Okay, apart from that, there's one a uh, new feature that Microsoft has announced, which is in the settings. Look at that, if we go to ease of access, they've now done like groups in the different categories on the left side. I actually like that because let's, okay, let's, let's look at it here. So there are lines that separate different portions or different groups of options. And it makes it kind of easier to go through, I find. Uh, you know, if we just look, for example, at system, look at how cluttered that is. I've never realized how cluttered all of this in a list style like this was until I saw the ease of access that they've changed today. And I got to say, it's kind of interesting to see it like that. It's kind of better to have it like that. 
um, and hopefully this is coming to all of Windows 10 settings because it's kind of nice to have it like that. Apart from that, we have also, if you're a developer and you've uh, turned on dev, dev mode, um, you will actually have an ability in the apps and features list to actually control startup tasks for universal Windows platform apps, which is kind of cool. Uh, so this will give you more uh, possibility, including a test startup that you'll be able to check to see if your apps that you're actually uh, creating as a developer are actually booting fast enough. There's uh, evolving Microsoft Yahe fonts. I don't know how you pronounce that, but it's uh, uh, for insiders from China, uh, where Microsoft Yahe is the font where you use to display Windows UI text in Chinese simplified language. So they've done something in there. They've done a few things uh, over there. Uh, to make it a little better. So that's pretty much what we see in the new stuff uh, right now. Apart from that, very stable build. Um, no errors, no problems. I have not had any, any problems at all, uh, except for that little thing I told you at the beginning with the settings. Um, seems to work well. I've been using the internet, been doing everything I kind of do in a, uh, you know, computer in general as this me this machine which is a insider machine is kind of my second uh, most used machine the one that i really use a lot to see if everything is all right uh, so i've had no issues no problems uh, apart from that seems crisp seems fast and um, seems pretty stable so if you have this build what how did it go for you did you uh, update to this build were you able do you have errors problems what is wrong if there is anything wrong and uh, how do you find a build um, you know it's it's the beginning of redstone 4 so there's not a lot of new features but we'll have more and more as time goes by and uh, it's kind of cool to see that we're moving ahead if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching our videos